Hey, thanks so much for checking out this teaching on how you and I can develop friendships with people who need Jesus, with our ones. In 1 Thessalonians, Paul says uh, that to, to this group of people in this church, he says, we cared for you because we loved you so much. We were delighted to share with you not only the gospel of God, but our lives as well. And in this verse, in Thessalonians, it just reminds us that this idea of helping people find God, helping people find connection to Jesus and follow him, isn't just sharing the gospel like it's a transaction. And, and so this first D of our 3D approach is probably the most important, is that we develop authentic friendships, relationships. And, and what does that look like? What, what are some ways you might be able to do that? Not just telling somebody they need God or they're gonna go to hell, but to share your life with them, to be friends with them. Well, you have to find common ground. Like, what is it you both enjoy doing? What does this, this person like to do? Where are the places they go? What are their interests? And, and maybe you have some in, in common. Start there or just spending time together, hanging out together as it's appropriate. You're trying to build a bridge of trust. And I think first and foremost, it's gonna require for me to do this with people in my life, to be intentional. I have to put this in some level of priority in my life or friendships don't happen. I, I have friends, I have a wife and kids and a job and things that I'm interested in and things that I wanna do and, and just time I wanna be alone. But where does a new friendship or developing a maybe shallow friendship fit into that? Well, I gotta be intentional. And, and so what if you made the friendship with your one more important than it is today? What, what if you moved it up in the priority of your life? What would be different? Think about that and then like lean into that. Start doing some of those things. And, and some of us, we're just naturally more selfish than other people. We want our time. We don't want a new friend. But if you want to help your one find God, find connection, you're gonna have to be a little more selfless and spending time with them. Are you there for other people? Let's just be honest. Like you don't have to tell me I'm not gonna know the answer, but some of us aren't. And if you aren't, then you need to start being there for your one and start this journey of building a relationship, building trust. What is your common ground? What do you like to do together? Be there for them. Find a way to just spend time with them and develop a new friendship.